human beings. And despite there being more than 7 billion different people, we all have one thing in common. We put one foot in front of the other. Why do we do this? What does it mean? My name is Jim Casey, and welcome to Uncovering History. Many people throughout history have made their mark on the world, such as Carl Benz, the man who made the first automobile, Christopher Columbus, the man who sailed the ocean to find the America we stand on today, and the Founding Fathers, who created the freedoms and the liberties that we still hold today. But, sadly, many historical figures that were important to us have been forgotten. Such as today's topic, Sir Thomas J. Walker, the man who invented walking. So today, many historians, book writers, and people who believe in the ancient astronaut theory have come together to retell the story of the most important man in human history. Today we'll talk about the myth, the man, the legend, that is Sir Thomas J. Walker. 1900, Spaghettisburg, Italy. Spaghettiburg, where Thomas lived, back in the 1800s was really ahead of its time. While everyone else had George Washington, horse carriages, and suffered a cancer that would make anybody sick, this seriously sucked. Spaghettiburg was like 25th century, um, scarcely accurate too. Jay Walker's family was interesting to say the least. His parents were tailors, which was incredibly important because the town part pants would be ripped from people dragging them on the ground, but Jay Walker started out as a mailman. Which, come to think of it, is a long, grueling job. He was lucky to even get one and a half blocks. I bet it has good pay. But the true start to his long, long career in history started with this friendship between him and Sir Jacob D. Wheeler. The friendship of Jay Walker and D. Wheeler was an interesting topic because D. Wheeler looked like an ordinary guy, but Jay Walker, for some reason, was either uncomfortable or had this building anger whenever he was around him. It was visible for everyone to see. Although I am all for uh, reinventing a travel, I am not okay for him only giving to the rich. Now, I've been thinking of an idea for a little while, but this will definitely put the D-Wheeler out of business. So after he thought about walking, the first thing he had to do was kill D-Wheeler. Hello, diary. It is me. Sir Jacob D. Wheeler. Yesterday, I just invented the wheelchair. This new chair on wheels will hopefully get us to one place to another faster. There is no other way this could be reinvented. I mean, that's just reinventing the wheel. <laughs> I love puns. Anyway, my plan to finally put Jay Walker out of business. For, for being a male man, I don't know how that works to being a revolutionary success. Finally, with all this money gave from the rich, I can bring my kids to college and can actually give them the thing that only wealthy people at this time could do. Now, I know this seems crazy, but I hope no one actually takes over my business when I'm gone. Because if I do, that'll be pretty sad. I mean, come on. Only I know how to make these. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, never mind. This was actually a lot easier than I thought. Signed, Astrid Thomas, Jim Walker. We here at History Channel humbly apologize for this following screen. We in fact do not have the footage or montage of him walking, so you're just gonna have to take our word for it. And after being well known all throughout Spaghettisburg, Jay Walker then found himself as a general for the Spaghettisburg military. Um, great people in history have been generals in war like um, George Washington and Thomas Edison and Michael Bay. People from all over Spaghettisburg came to hear Sir Thomas's speeches.
people of a spaghetti burg. We have been oppressed for long enough. We, as the smallest country in Italy, will finally rise up against our oppressors, the United States. We will take them down, and we will show them what it is like to have the wrath of Italy spread on their hamburger-loving fools. Now, who shall agree to come with me and destroy and kill all of the American people? Hail to Spaghettisburg, and hail to its people! And after the most inspiring speech in human history, Jay Walker then found himself with his troops on the beach of Santa Cruz in what can be called as the Five Hour War, which he lost. The Five Hour War, it's nothing much to talk about. I mean, a war lasted five hours. I guess all the Spaghetti Burbs troops only ate rice cakes and spam shrugged. And as a punishment, he had to teach the rest of the world to walk. The only reason we don't remember him is because he had no kids and died at 32. The sad end for this town was the night of the spicy meatballs, where George Washington burned down the town. The reason why isn't because of the war, it was because Washington said they were witches. When he was told that 70% of the town was men, he said that men could be witches too. With all these amazing things he did, one question still remains. Is he an extraterrestrial? Ancient astronaut theorists believe that the knowledge Jay Walker gained from walking was gained by extraterrestrial beings. And that the answer could be found by Stonehenge <laughs> and Czechoslovakia. This is why Stay I watch the History Channel. Ancient Aliens Returns. When you're walking, when you're walking, when you're walking, when you're walking. 900-490 now and receive your free That's when you are walking When you're walking, when you're walking, when you're walking It's really about when you're walking It's like my home, totally